For Elden Ring's runes, items, and weapons up to plus 10 and plus 25, head over to u4gm.com. Use the code CARPO for 5% off. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today, we have another amazing weapon to get after the Jar Cannon. And if you don't know about this weapon, well today I'm going to show you exactly why you need to pick this up today. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order for you to get the Jar Cannon, you're going to have to take out the Demi-Human Queen Margaret. All the way at the Volcano Cave. How do you get there from the very first steps? Either cut through Stormville Castle, take out a couple of bosses on around the back end side, make your way to Eastern Learning Lake Shore. From there, you need to head to the top of the mountains. There's some steps that you can take down. As you can see right there, that is the Eastern Riot Gate. Take those steps down to the Eastern Riot Gate and head east until you get to the Grand Lift of Dectus. You should see a video pop up right there. That's how you can get both sides to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Put both of those medallions together and open it up. You're going to be at the Altius Plateau. From there, we're going to make our way to the Prime Sorcerer Azura Saving Grace Point. That's a video just in case you need to get over there. And then from there, we're going to make our way all the way over here to Volcano Cave. So from the Knife Mount Glumir campsite, we're going to spawn in there from that saving grace point and make our way over to the pin location, which will be Volcano Cave. Let's go. So on horseback, go ahead and cross this bitch like so and make your way over to the Volcano Cave. Now there are some enemies outside, but you can easily ride past these guys head over here and make your way inside to the volcano cave hit the saving grace point as you can see right here this is where we are at now let's make our way down to the boss area now the boss area is going to be a nice fight if you are under level it might be a little challenging for you but you know it shouldn't be too hard because it's a big boss so you need to just basically stay close to the boss make sure you dodge out the way of the attacks that it do and you should be pretty much good to go so from here i did a couple checking walls so if you found anything extra down here any special things hey let me know down below i don't find everything but i'm always trying to find something new you know so from here we're going to make our way down to the boss as you can see it is right here now you can easily just run down here you can take out these guys always take them out you never know what you're going to get or drop so here we go traverse that mess and here is the demi human queen margaret now like i said you can easily take this dude out by just staying close to it and getting in your swipes and avoiding the attacks of course i'm rocking a blood bill so it was pretty much easy peasy taken out and boom just like that you have yourself the jar canning so let's have a look at this on paper and let's see why it's so good strength of 34 dexterity of 12 in order to wield this weapon and this isn't a weapon that you're going to be necessarily using to take out bosses or anything like that but it does have a seal called kick but that's not what it's about either it is about pvp now i'm not a pvp type of person but i've seen plenty of videos on this thing doing ham for afk players so if you are one of those persons who do go into pvp and you run into afk players well then this weapon is going to be pretty freaking sweet because you can easily take them out as they're going afk and get yourself some easy room now for me i still went ahead and tried this weapon out against some normal enemies as you can see and it's pretty decent does some pretty good work against those ads not a one shot kill which is kind of crazy but you know it is what it is you do have different types of ammo that you can use against this guy right here in the mountaintops of the giant who is very tanky by the way you do some pretty good damage with the jar weapon around 760 it's decent nothing to you know say oh my god it's amazing or anything like that but you know what it is amazing if you are taking it into pvp so like i said it's not one of those weapons that you're going to take against bosses or anything like that but if you are going into pvp which i'm not a pvp guy so that's why you're not going to see any footage well it's going to be excellent to take out afkers but there you have it the jar cannon ladies and gentlemen did a little bit of testing for you and i showed you how to get it as well now all you have to do is get out there 
go pick it up today and go have some fun in pvp <laughs> but for right now that's pretty much going for the video hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you are new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe because right here at carco gaming upload a wide variety of videos range from updates tips and tricks guys news and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this video once again thank you everybody for all your love and support hope you have a wonderful day if you have any questions let me know down below and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later